Imagine opening a tin of sardines, those neat, silvery fillets packed tightly in oil or water. For generations, these little fish have been a pantry staple, a quick snack, and even a delicacy in some cultures. But have you ever stopped to wonder, are those really sardines in your can, or is there more to this classic snack than meets the eye? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most persistent myths in the world of seafood, the true identity of the so-called sardine. Is it just clever marketing, or is there a genuine secret lurking beneath the surface? Stay tuned as we peel back the label and expose the facts, one fin at a time. So, what really happens inside that little tin before it lands on your grocery store shelf? Let's break down the canning process step by step and see how it impacts the nutrients in your sardines. First, the freshly caught sardines are quickly transported to the processing plant. Here, they're cleaned, beheaded and gutted, all within hours to lock in freshness. Next, the fish are packed tightly into cans, often by hand, and covered with either oil, water or tomato sauce. But the real transformation happens next, the canning. Cans loaded with sardines are sealed and then heated to high temperatures, usually around 240 degrees Fahrenheit, 115 degrees Celsius, for up to 90 minutes. This intense heat is what makes the sardines shelf-stable for years, but it also triggers changes at a microscopic level. Some nutrients, like vitamin C and certain B vitamins, are sensitive to heat and can be reduced during this process. But here's the surprising part. The healthy omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, are remarkably resilient and remain mostly intact. Even better, the high heat softens the tiny sardine bones, releasing calcium directly into the fish flesh and making it easier for your body to absorb. In other words, canning does change the nutrient profile, but it doesn't strip sardines of their most important health benefits. In fact, the process actually enhances some nutrients while reducing others. So next time you pop open a can, you're not just getting convenience, you're getting a carefully preserved source of protein, healthy fats, and even more calcium than you might expect. Now let's dive into a detail that most people overlook when choosing their sardines, what they're packed in. The liquid inside that can, whether it's oil, water, or even tomato sauce, does more than just keep the fish moist. It can actually change the nutrition profile of your meal in surprising ways. First, let's talk about sardines packed in oil. If you see olive oil on the label, that's usually a good sign. Olive oil not only helps preserve the delicate texture of the fish, but it also adds heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. These fats can work together with the sardine's natural omega-3s to support your heart and brain. But not all oils are created equal. Some cans use cheaper vegetable oils, like soybean or sunflower oil, which are high in omega-6 fatty acids. Too much omega-6 can throw off your body's omega-3 to omega-6 ratio something many nutrition experts warn against. On the other hand, sardines packed in water are often marketed as the healthier choice. Water-packed sardines have fewer added calories and no extra fat from oil. But there's a trade-off. Water can pull out some of the natural flavor and leach away water-soluble nutrients like B vitamins and minerals. Plus, to keep the fish tasting good, many brands add extra salt. This brings us to another hidden factor, sodium. Flip the can over and you might be shocked by the sodium content. Some brands pack as much as 400 to 500 milligrams of sodium into a single serving, almost a quarter of your recommended daily limit. High sodium can be a concern for people with high blood pressure or those watching their salt intake. The lowest sodium options? Look for sardines labeled no salt added or low sodium and always check the nutrition facts panel. In the end, the best choice depends on your own health goals and taste preferences. If you're looking for extra healthy fats, opt for olive oil-packed sardines. If you want to keep calories and fat low, water-packed might be better, but watch out for added salt. Whichever you choose, a quick rinse under cold water can help reduce excess sodium before eating. So next time you reach for a can, remember, the packing liquid isn't just a detail, it can make a real difference in the nutrition you get from your sardines. Here's the showdown you've been waiting for. Fresh sardines versus canned. 
Which one truly deserves the superfood crown? Let's start with fresh sardines. Straight from the ocean, they're packed with maximum omega-3s, barely any sodium, and absolutely no preservatives. When grilled or broiled within 24 hours of being caught, fresh sardines offer unmatched flavor and a nutrient profile that's hard to beat. But there's a catch. Fresh sardines spoil incredibly fast sometimes within just 24 to 48 hours, even when refrigerated. Unless you live near a coastal fish market or have access to flash frozen fish, true freshness can be tough to guarantee. Now, what about canned sardines? While they might lose some water-soluble vitamins during the canning process, they actually retain about 80 to 90% of their original omega-3s. Plus, the high heat used in canning softens the bones, making calcium far more available, up to 35% more than what you'd get from eating fresh sardines. Canned sardines also offer unbeatable convenience and shelf life, making them a practical option for most people. But here's the real surprise. Research shows that sardines flash frozen at sea and then canned can sometimes be more nutritious than so-called fresh sardines that have been sitting on ice for days. And while canned sardines do have more sodium, choosing low salt or no salt added options can help you manage your intake. So, who wins? If you have access to truly fresh sardines, caught and eaten within a day or two, they edge out the competition. But for the rest of us, High-quality canned sardines are not just a second choice, they're a nutrient powerhouse in their own right. The verdict? The real winner is the sardine you'll actually eat regularly. Whether it's fresh off the grill or straight from the can, you're making a smart, healthy choice. So, after all the science and myth-busting, what does this mean for you at the grocery store or in your kitchen? Here's your practical sardine game plan. First, don't stress about perfection. If you can get your hands on truly fresh sardines, caught and cooked within a day, enjoy that unbeatable flavor and nutrition. But if you're like most people, high-quality canned sardines are a fantastic healthy choice. When buying canned, check the label. Look for sardines packed in olive oil or spring water, preferably with no added salt. Avoid those packed in low-quality vegetable oils or with unnecessary additives. If you're watching your sodium, Opt for no salt added varieties when possible. For an extra nutrition boost, choose sardines with bones. They're soft, edible, and loaded with calcium. And don't forget to check for BPA-free cans if that's important to you. Finally, make sardines work for your lifestyle. Toss them on salads, blend them into spreads, or enjoy them straight from the can for a quick protein fix. The goal isn't perfection, it's consistency. Bottom line, the healthiest sardine is the one you'll actually eat regularly. Make it easy, make it tasty, and you'll be reaping the benefits in no time.